Pizza Dude is a game that really annoyed me. For how simple the gameplay and the graphics are, it just shouldn't crash as much as it did. This game crashed more than any game I've ever reviewed in my life. It literally crashed 50% of the time every time I started it up. It crashed about 75% of the time every time I fell off my dune buggy while delivering pizza. And it crashed 100% of the time every time the pizza was not delivered on time. I had to restart this game at least 30 times for this review. It's unfathomable. And I tried to do everything to stop the crashing, from changing the graphics, to changing the resolution, to starting the game differently on my computer. Nothing worked. There's something fundamentally wrong with the software, at least the software in the version I downloaded. The game also freaked me out. The people in this game have weird faces. They have these giant heads on tiny little eight-year-old bodies, but their faces are like weird. They look like tiki statues, but kind of sad humanoid tiki statues. And the dog also has like a weird sad humanoid face. It's like I'm walking down the street and having a bad acid trip. It's just disturbing. If people looked like this in real life, I would move to the mountains and be a hermit. The gameplay? Well, as I've said, it's very simple, much like the graphics. There are two parts of the gameplay. There's the cooking portion, where you prepare pizzas, and then there's the delivery portion, where you have a timer and you have to drive through this open city to deliver the pizzas. It's somewhat of a city sandbox game, but it really isn't. The city isn't very big, I've never seen other people, and the cars just look horrendous. When you're cooking the pizzas before you deliver them, it's so stupid. Like, you get this order to make your pizza, but you never actually make the pizza. It seems like all you do is make toppings for the pizza and french fries. Like, somebody orders some french fries and some pineapple pizza, so all you would do is slice up some pineapples and then deep fry some french fries. You never actually make the pizza. You just make the topping, and then the pizza is just magically done. I don't get it. I think this is also glitch, although it might not be but when you stand right in the middle of two workbenches you can slice up or cook two things at the same time like when you stand between the deep fryer and the onions you can both cut the onions up and deep fry french fries at the same time and you know what it must be a glitch because there are two french fry baskets you can't be picking both of them up and down while cutting onions with your other hand. Forget about the fact that's not how a human mind works, where you wouldn't simply be able to do two completely different things at the same time with different hands. It also looks ridiculous when you fall off your little dune buggy. He just kind of collapses like a little three-year-old who just learned to drive his bike and then stops moving. I'm guessing he dies, I don't know. But the driving physics and the crash physics are Grand Theft Auto compared to the on-foot physics. Cars don't hurt you when they hit you. In fact, they actually keep pushing you indefinitely. You could literally hitch a ride by having a car to hit you and then continually drive forward. I guess the driver is blind or something. He doesn't see that he just hit a hideous pizza boy and is currently dragging him at full speed. God, their faces look frightening. Don't look at me, just turn away. Also in the game, there are these coins that have the face of the character you play as that you have to collect. I don't understand if he's the new Roman emperor of this town and that's why all the coins have his horrible, disgusting, sad tiki face on them. But yeah, there are these giant coins just floating around the city you collect. Oh no, turn around, don't, no, oh, turn around. Camera, why are you doing this to me? I don't want to see this hideous character's face. Stop it. I'd rather look at his douchey late 90s pointy hair than this hideous awful nightmare face. The first delivery I ever made in this game, and this took me about 20 tries because the game kept crashing every few minutes, was to this house that's like a garden maze. So I get out of my little dune buggy to deliver the pizza, keep in mind there's a timer, and I have to kind of run through this maze. It's like, are you kidding me game? A goddamn garden maze? Who lives here? The Mad Hatter? Is this Medusa's mansion? Who has a goddamn garden maze? And you think that's something you would mention to the pizza boy, oh, by the way, once you get out of your dune buggy, there's a goddamn maze of trees you have to get through to bring the pizza to my doorstep. Oh, and here's the weird thing. Right after you get your phone call, 
to make the pizza, there's no timer. Even though the timer should literally start when you hang up the phone with the customer. But the timer only starts once the pizza is actually ready to be delivered. So I'm guessing this is a timer you made up for yourself. It's not a timer that has anything to do with the customer. It makes no sense. Why would the timer not start right when the pizza is ordered? Why would it start once it's made? It's ridiculous. But let's say the timer starts when the pizza is made because it's like a heat timer so the pizza doesn't get cold before it gets delivered. Although the timer should start the second the pizza is ordered because that's when the customer starts waiting for it. The customer doesn't call you 20 minutes after ordering and says, hey, is the pizza done yet? Okay, I'm starting my timer now. But okay, let's leave logic and common sense and say the timer is so the pizza doesn't get cold. Why is there no actual pizza delivery boy? Why is the chef also the delivery boy? That's right, there's no one else in this goddamn pizzeria. In fact, there's no other people in the city, period. So this is like I am legend 2 and the pizza delivery boy is just a crazed man who lost his mind from not having any human interaction. Maybe the people ordering the pizza are the actual zombie vampires from the movie. No, sorry, sir, we're out of human skin. Would you like some pepperoni instead? It just crashes, it has a ton of bugs, and the people just freak me out to no end. This game is weird and annoying. Really, the only good thing it has going for it is the graphics, which are okay. They're very simple, they're very rudimentary. It's like a budget game in the earlier years of the Wii, but the graphics ultimately aren't bad, and that's pretty much the only saving grace in this game. Oh, and by the way, check out the desktop icon this game uses. It's the weird man dog's face! Like, I want to play a game where I deliver pizzas in a city sandbox environment and also make those pizzas? How would I know that's the game? It's a picture of a goddamn dog! Pizza Dude gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 4 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.